Hello everyone, this is my educational technology capstone project. In my project, I'm going to investigate the internal assessment guideline and how am I going to implement the internal assessment guideline using the technology that I have learned so far. So in order to do that, this is the IA timeline. I have created the IA timeline and you can see uh, as a flashcard, the first step, submission of the topic and research question for approval, uh, the completion of the experimental, and the uh, data uh, should be completed by June 11. And then the next would be the aim and personal engagement uh, by uh, September 11. And then the variable was September 25. And then material and method procedure, uh, uh, October 9, and then safety, ethical, and environmental concerns, October uh, 9 again, and uh, qualitative data, raw data table, and uh, process data table, and the graphs, uh, uh, November 27, and uh, Finally, the conclusion, analysis, and discussion, December 11, and uh, after that would be the uh, submission to the Trinity. So here is the timeline that I have created, and it's going to be used for uh, the purpose of the, uh, my capstone project, which is uh, according to IA. Uh, and here is the more details related to all the data that I have already mentioned on my flashcards. So it's in more, more details on those. If you are interested, you can uh, have a look at the file that I will put it uh, as a link for you uh, under this video. Uh, in, order to, in order to achieve this goal, you will need to learn so many things. For example, these are the tutorial videos related to how to make a table uh, in the Excel file. You can watch the video and see how it's possible. Uh, and also the second video, again, related to the making a table, but with, uh, with the focus on graphs and t-testing. What is the t-test? These are the things that you need to know how to make a t-test using the Excel file. And then finally, which is one of the most important tutorials for you to learn how to create a bar, error bars using the Excel. This is very important and uh, is uh, one of the criteria which examiner will look at into your final submission. If you have properly uh, uh, calculated the error bars uh, in your graph. And then, uh, the, use, the, the way that you can do the t-test in the Excel again with the link and with the video and tutorial videos, uh, how to make a chi-square p-value using an Excel. This is again another uh, important uh, tutorial for you to learn how to make a chi-square. Uh, and uh, and the, uh, the data and the uh, the model that I have already uh, used uh, is Bloom's taxonomy, uh, which uh, which I make my IA uh, using the Bloom's taxonomy. So these are the internal assessment uh, criteria, starting from personal engagement at the bottom, and then exploration, analysis, evaluation, and communication according to Bloom's taxonomy model. And if you want to learn about more IA with the introduction of what is the IA, what are the challenges that you need to overcome, what are the time management, uh, how, many t how many hours you need to spend for separated part of each criteria, and each criteria has much how much grades, uh, what criteria are holistic, and uh, how do you want to change the topic, and this is kind of introduction for you uh, which you can uh, learn from these slides. And then, of course, there are two video uh, YouTube tutorials that I have reported, in, uh, including introduction and the personal engagement. More videos are coming, uh, and I will embed to this file 
once you have the file, uh, then you will have the access to more videos as well. And here is the person, uh, the IA rubric, internal assessment rubric. This is also very important because you need to look at the rubric while you are writing your IA and step by step follow what are the necessary for uh, making your uh, for uh, uh, a proper and perfect writing in order to get the best part of the rubric as much as you can. And yeah, you can see all the rubrics yeah, that has been pasted over here. Uh, and uh, here is the link for the IA samples. There are a lot of samples that you can check and read uh, how, uh, including the titles, including the topics, uh, the best IA samples ever that has been published by IB so far. Uh, and then uh, there are three 30 investigation ideas. Uh, you can also use uh, this link to find out what are the best ideas, what are the most common and proper investigation ideas so far. And again, another 16 new investigation ideas. And you can use this resource for, uh, for your IA uh, if you want to uh, dig into more uh, IA resources, uh, IA uh, investigations, uh, and also the practical uh, IA that you need to do in your IB curriculum. And more, everything that you need, you will find the best uh, and proper uh, resources over here. Hope you enjoyed my video and you will find the link under below this video uh, and thank you for watching.